When I realized that the headline, I realized they'd gotten just about everything from the column wrong. It was probably over a million people who saw the headline on Dredge. I'm David John Murata, the president of Murata Wealth Management, and we help clients manage their finances. We write good financial planning advice, and we get sent all kinds of things about the end of the world and what you're supposed to do and how the financial markets might melt down because of this or that. Scams are always, you need to be doing this immediately, the timing is eminent, they usually put a date on the end of the world and these are all ways of selling their financial advice. It's always kind of vague, but we took one of those, which had seven different pieces of advice because of the coming financial collapse, and we took each of the seven pieces of advice and showed how actually they weren't very good advice whether the world was ending or not, except there were a couple of pieces of advice that were good advice. And one of them, should you be prepared in the case of an emergency? And so the advice was, stock up on food and water and guns. And so we said, yes indeed, it's good to be prepared for an emergency. You should be prepared with food and water and about 26 things. And then if you fulfilled all of that, including your, your pet's medications and, and uh, your, your passport and your driver's license and some cash, then yes, guns is on the list, but it's an optional item at the end of the list. Our column was picked up and mentioned in Washington Secrets under the title, Be Prepared, Wall Street Advisor Recommends Guns and Ammo for Protection and Collapse. And to the author's defense, he talked about how we don't expect a coming collapse. We expect there to be sort of more a long-term financial malaise as the country works through all the, the financial problems that we've had that we don't recommend guns and ammo except that they're the last items on the list, not the first. And so he got a lot of the um, details right in the column, but his headline was particularly unhelpful for getting the facts right. So then the uh, Dredge Report picked up his column and they had uh, something at the top of the Dredge banner, which is above even the Dredge title, where they put something that they want to highlight, and it was, Wall Street advisor recommends guns, ammo for protection collapse. So they repeated the article uh, headline and put a link to the article. The first thing we noticed the day after Christmas was that our servers were incredibly slow. We knew that our site was getting a lot of hits, but someone called to say, hey, I see you're on the front page of the Dredge Report. Um, oh my goodness. Uh, and, and that's when we realized that we were, we were about to experience a media blitz over the next couple of days, and that's why our servers were so slow. Now you have to understand the Dredge Report linked to Washington Secrets, and Washington Secrets linked to us. So we only got a tiny fraction of the click-through. It was probably over a million people who saw the headline on Dredge. When I realized that the headline was, Wall Street Advisor Recommends Guns, Ammo for Protection and Collapse. I realized they'd gotten just about everything from the column wrong. First of all, I'm not a Wall Street Advisor. We're living here in Charlottesville, Virginia. Second of all, we weren't recommending guns and ammo. We were recommending the 26 things that come before guns and ammo to be prepared rather than scared, and we were using that as a rubric to talk about financial planning and how you need to have long-term uh, preparedness in financial planning as well. And third, we don't think there's an uh, upcoming economic collapse. And in fact, the last year has proven that there isn't an eminent upcoming collapse. And I don't think there'll be one for the next year either. We were saying that the economic malaise that might be happening within the US, our unemployment rate, our slow recovery, all that means is that you should be better diversified around the world among the countries that have good economic freedom. All of the headlines that were picked up after the Dredge Report use the Dredge Report's coming economic collapse. So here are some of the headlines that I thought were interesting. Wall Street expert, pack your guns in case of disaster. Top Wall Street advisor, you need guns and ammo for protection and collapse. Wall Street advisor recommends guns, ammo for protection and collapse. And the worst one was by the Catholic Online Journal, and it was run for the hills, top financial advisor sees imminent collapse of US civilization. Probably one of the most interesting things was the pictures that they put alongside each of the articles. One was a picture of cars in flames. One had a guy in a suit and tie with a gas mask on. One was a boardroom filled with guns and ammo. One was a picture of Mad Max. 
pray that he's still out there. Somewhere. After it went on the Dredge Report and then it started going viral, we got calls for interviews. I remember there was, there was a radio show in Dallas, there was a radio show in California, and then I was on Fox News. One top financial advisor is recommending this, that you have a bug out bag. It includes a gun and ammunition, and all of this is just in case of a financial apocalypse. Yeah, it's David John Murata. He's a very well-known financial advisor, very well respected. And you got quite a lot of attention because of this uh, note you wrote. All the interviews went down the same way. So I hear that you predicted the end of the world and that you think we need guns and ammo. And I would explain, no, they got basically all of that wrong. But that's not what you really believe is on the way. You, you, you yep. think it's much more calm on the way, actually, right? Now, Murata is not predicting Armageddon, not saying that at all. That's correct. And it's much more likely that we'll have a long and drawn out European malaise that, that, that than anything precipitous would happen in this country. And then they'd say, OK, that's all very interesting. But what do you think are the problems plaguing the world that there might be a financial meltdown? Uh, so what what worries you the most? Is it the fact that people are leaving the workforce? Is it that, uh, you know, interest rates are going up? Uh, is it what, what what do you see as, as the one or two um, a major uh, warning signs that have you concerned? And then I talk about all the troubles of the economics in the world. What he is saying is that he and some of his clients have seen some very troubling signs in the economy. And then they'd be happy because I had predicted all of this economic malaise and, and, and difficulties within the world. He says we are more likely to see a gradual European style decline in the economy and not a sudden crash that will turn society upside down. But he says better to be prepared. And in the case of a natural disaster, you should have a survival kit. I always tried to make sure that we got over the no, the headline was completely wrong before I went on to then give them the things that they really wanted and the reason why they were really inter interviewing me. I thought what I, I wrote was, was a very reasonable article to say um, firearms may be on the list, but they're after two dozen other things that you should have. Uh, and being prepared for the end of the world makes you better prepared for the things that are not the end of the world that are much more likely to happen. And oddly enough, the preppers who picked up the article got things the most right. And they were saying things like, yeah, Murata's not saying anything else. He's saying have two weeks of food and water in, in case you get snowed in. It's, it's no big deal. What was particularly funny was this set of seven blog posts were almost throwaway blog posts uh, that I just dashed off. So the staff was particularly surprised that these blog posts, which didn't have the greatest content that's on our site, were the ones that went viral. I talked to the initial uh, reporter uh, later on after the fact, and he said, I, I hope I didn't cause you too much trouble with the headline. And I said, actually, you got all the details right, but the headline really went viral on a completely different approach than you had even intended it. And I don't know if he wrote the headline, because sometimes when I write a column and it gets put in the paper, we have a title that we want to use, but the newspaper retitles it. And I have experienced the, 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 the trouble sometimes of the newspaper having a headline which has gotten the article wrong and it's not a, an accurate reflection. And so I've taken to just not believing um, headlines anymore. I think it made me realize that you can be very misunderstood on the internet, um, but that all publicity can be good publicity if you use it to your advantage. David John Murata, thank you very much for helping us, one, understand what was a serious response to what a lot of people think might be an outrageous question about Armageddon. Not a lot of financial advisors, though, Shannon, coming out and saying, grab a gun, grab a survival kit, and <laughs> get ready for what's coming.